I was introduced to the word melanoma when I was 10, and my father was diagnosed with it. I learned to hate the word melanoma when I was 13, and it took my father from me. When I first got diagnosed, my son was four weeks old. I also had a two-year-old daughter, and the treating oncologist told my wife I probably wouldn't be here in two years. Melanoma is a very specific skin cancer, and in fact accounts for the vast majority of deaths due to skin cancer each year. It's not just skin cancer, it's, it's deadly, it's a monster. My husband Leanne and I started the Melanoma Research Alliance when I was diagnosed with stage two melanoma almost 11 years ago. The outlook for late stage patients was terrible. The conversation in 2007 was very different than the conversation that we have today. Without MRA, like we'd be on two, maybe two and a half drugs that are available. MRA's done 50 years worth of cancer research for patients in less than 10 years. What Deborah and Leon wanted different about MRA, we want our donors to give directly to research by taking away any overhead admin development, and we're gonna cover that 100%. That frees us up as an organization to focus all of those resources in a way that's gonna have the most meaningful impact. The Melanoma Research Alliance was basically the only group that was willing to take a risk and to fund some of these early stage preclinical studies and very early stage trials. Clinical trials are the only means we have for advancing new medications. It is very important to break down myths about clinical research. My father was diagnosed with melanoma in 2016. He's still alive today because he also participated in clinical trials. This clinical trial navigator that MRA has launched recently is just fantastic because it helps patients find clinical Trials. So this is where MRA really is unique and is really essential in that they've built an online platform where patients can engage with each other, providers, families. MRA hasn't just created this organization for science and for research, they've created a community for everyone involved in melanoma. The end outcome is about the patient and I see it in every aspect of MRA, starting at the top with our board of directors where I third of those members have dealt with melanoma themselves. With the MRI having everybody at this meeting, the scientific retreat, there's every famous doctor, researcher, and, and they all collaborate, they share their stories. The MRA is amazing at making it a requirement for people to share their information, the older investigators and the younger investigators working together. There's a collaboration that I think is unique. I was fortunate to receive uh, MRA Young Investigator Awards, and that was actually my uh, first grant. And here was a group that really had faith in me, faith in my new lab that we were gonna make a difference. We have international experts from all over the world that help us select these grants. So at the end of the day, we really get to fund some of the very best work in the field. So many people want to work in the field. It's exploding. The 11 approved therapies are now being used in many other diseases and cancers. So we really are leading the way. We always have our eyes on the cure. There are other good outcomes too though. Patients who can live with melanoma as a chronic disease, who are not suffering from any symptoms. Even with the tools we already have, let alone the research that's coming, we can be very hopeful for years and decades and perhaps normal life for patients dealing with advanced melanoma. MRE's good at what they do. I'm glad they do it.